Well, let's hope one or both of these fighters is as decisive as Mills Lane has been as a referee recently and before recently. Round one begins. Should note here that it's a very small ring for big guys, especially about 17 and a half feet, which should favor Lewis, George. I think so. Once you get the ring closer with a big guy, no matter how big they are, you got to throw punches at all times. There's no room to move around and look, especially when you have this kind of reach. Well, it'll certainly favor Lewis and his harder punching if he can be aggressive. And he's come out aggressively, initiating the exchanges with Akinwande in the first 30 seconds of the fight. And Mills Lane already with a conference about holding. The general, these guys are accustomed to jabbing, feeling for a jab and jabbing, but the ring is so small that after a jab, they bump into one another. Wande has been told by his trainer Don Turner to move forward as he throws the jab. Likewise, Emmanuel Stewart is trying to get Lennox Lewis to be much more aggressive, to throw a George Foreman or Sonny Liston style jab and drive his body through behind it. Lennox in the past has, has a, had a habit of doing what Larry Merchant calls fighting from the back seat, throwing the jab but leaning backward as he does. Lewis trying to assert himself here. And Akawande has to put some hurt on him to, to drive him away. Let him, Let him go, Henry. Let him go. Otherwise, Let Lewis go. will Come just on. keep coming. Akinwande, within the last 20 seconds, beginning to release punches on his own. Before that, he was only fighting back as Lewis attacked. So now Akinwande will try to establish the jab, which is his key to winning the fight. What? Work, work out. Lennox Lewis will have the advantage of the left jab. Hey, just got to forget about throwing the right hand and left hook and just stick with the left hand. First tackle of the fight. Come on, come on, come on. Come here, come here. And it certainly is striking to see these two very large men in such work a small out, ring. Work out, work out. I think it's a mistake for Lennox Lewis to consider all that talk about get, getting more aggressive because then you get off. This guy is a well-schooled national Olympic champion. He knows how to box. Take your time, set everything up by jab, and you can do it. Let him it. go, Henry, let him go. Let him go, come on. So you've never felt that the way Lewis fights is bad for him as an attraction. It's great. He doesn't have short arms. He's not going to be able to get quick knockouts from underneath and things of that nature. He has long arms. You've got to fight within the, uh, in what you can do. Why do long arms mean that it would take him longer to knock people out? Oh, the guy can see that long arm coming. You've got lots of time to get away. A very decisive round for Lewis. Looking good. He's establishing yourself good. Okay, come on. This round, you're going to work a little bit more with the jab, but mentally you're broken into already, okay? Man, is not that strong mentally. And what started to start working more with your jab okay. as you move in. But you're looking good. And you're catching That's everything. Really I love where your hands are, because you're catching everything. I just hope you don't get smart and start to trying to come up the room. Sit back and so you jump on me. See, that same thing we was talking in the dressing room. Just sidestep, sidestep. Get a little rhythm up in your upper body, okay? And sidestep this guy. You hear what he's saying, Henry? You yeah. hear what he's saying, Henry? You understand? Rhythm. Okay, just a little rhythm. Just like yeah, the Just gym. a moving just your head like body. Gym. You see, you can see? hit him with a right hand. Uh, and he gonna run into some shit. Just be careful, be patient, and wait. He'll run, but keep the jab out there. Just yes, keep the jab out there, okay? Don't go straight back. Okay? You understand? Box numbers show relatively low punch output okay, for both on. fighters in round number one. Let's see if they step up the activity in round two. Akinwande urged by his corner to listen to instruction, and he may forget what they told him after that right hand by Lewis. A good right hand, right on top, which is what Lennox Lewis has been doing his whole career. Power your jab, load up for a right hand like a baseball pitcher. The he does power the right hand straight over the top, George. The more power you put into a left jab, you're not going to have anything for your right hand. You're going to have to take all the power off and power and power like he's been doing his career to get that right, right hand effect. Step back, Lennox. Don't step back. Come on. Let him go. 
Well, again, George going against what has been widespread opinion regarding Lewis. A lot of people complaining about the way he paused with his jab. George says that's the way for him to maintain the power in his right hand. That's what you do. Now. One point off here. One point removed from Akinwande. He's, he's saying to Akinwande, you're here to fight, not to hug. There's another hug. Well, Lewis has been talking for days about how he expected Akinwande to wrap him in a bear hug. And Akinwande has proven true to form. One step back, come on. Let you see go. that referee, his lightweight, he'll wear out sooner or later pushing these big guys <laughs> back. <laughs> and that's what he's hoping, the big tall guy. Let him go, let him go. Let him go. It's time. You go here. Time. Come up here. I'm gonna chase you. And you can do better than that, you understand? Know uh, Brad, come on. Let's go. Come on. This is the way it's gonna have to be in boxing. The referee's gonna have to step up these days. Never going back to the days of gentlemanship. These guys are gonna break every rule. Well, we're two weeks removed from what's likely to become the most famous disqualification in the history of the sport. And Lane is threatening to end another heavyweight championship bout with a disqualification. Well, remember earlier I said he might try to hug him to death. And you heard Don Turner saying back in one day, don't let this guy disqualify you. Back in one day, must respond. Mills Lane is being awful careful. The greatest danger of him stepping in there and getting hit himself. These guys are hitting while they are hugging. Look out, come on, look out. There you go, you step back. Step back, Henry, come on. This looks like a mating dance between two boa constrictors. The only guy that can keep these guys apart would have to be the old, <laughs> the Olympic go, champion. Was Henry, it? Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Lee Haney. Lee Haney. Lee yeah, Haney one of those him apart. Otherwise, this referee is going to faint. Well, Mills is pretty dogged. Round two comes to a close, and Akinwande is flirting with disqualification danger. Let's get out there and fight this guy. He's gonna throw his best shot at you. He ain't got nothing. All you gotta do is fight. Get that moving. Just get that moving in your leg. Tell you something. The only reason he's hitting you is because you're not hitting him. This guy don't wanna fight. He wants you in close. Stay outside. Use your angle to punch on this guy, man. You set that weight on him. Oh, you break him down. You got to. When you get inside, you gotta store short punches right away. Exactly. As soon as he reaches, you gotta store short punches. Don't worry about big shots. He's grabbing you. You gotta get up right away with quick shots. Work the left jab. Good fakes. And let him. Here we see as Akawande clutched without really ever trying to fight in that instance, and a point was taken away from him. Lennox Lewis should just kind of stay with it. Punch the guy, wait for him to hug. When he lets go, punch him again, wait for him to hug. Do you know when I Why say exert that? yourself? Hey, 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 hey. Look, look. When I still take a step back, you step back. Understand? Come on, come on. I can wonder landed a good right hand this time. A little back, short one inside. Step back. Back. He can counter. You heard Emmanuel Stewart saying, I hope the guy doesn't get smart and start throwing punches up the middle. And now Lewis backs Akinwande off again with a jab and a right hand. They both rely primarily on the one-two. Jab, right hand, jab, right hand. Lewis flashed a good uppercut and a left hook in some of his recent fights. And there's an attempt at the right uppercut right there. Akinwande grabs and holds again. Every time Lewis lands a punch, Akawande's instinct is 
to hold rather than punch back, George. And I think the Lewis should play right into it, hit him and stop exerting himself, trying to push him away. 12 rounds of that can wear him out also. Good quick jab by Akinwande lands there. Lewis almost went down from a right hand as Akinwande was pushing on his shoulder. So now Lennox's balance seems to desert him a little bit. I thought it might have been a knockdown, Jim. It was a surprise quick right hand as he moved in. His knee may have raised the canvas. It was close, that's for sure. But not ruled a knockdown, obviously. And now Akinwande is beginning to get into the fight if he can curb his instinct to hold. Let me tell you, that holding when you're a heavyweight can drive you and burn you out. After a couple of rounds, you may even faint from pushing and shoving. Who gets tired or faster? The Lennox holder Lewis or the holdee? Because, yeah. Lennox Lewis has thrown all the power punches, so he's probably the one in danger of getting tired here. He's already has his mouth open. Come on. Punch out, man. Come on, real time. Punch out. Lewis remembering to go to the body as they hold and clinch around the ring. We'll see if that serves him well over a long period of time. Well, he's fighting a very thin guy in Akawanda. He's accustomed to guys looking at his thin body and beating on it with those shots, so that's not going to bother him. Nevada State Athletic Commission's commission officials sitting at ringside and no doubt hoping against hope that they don't see another disqualification in a heavyweight title fight in their state. Lewis goes to the body and effectively so. Effectively so, you're right. As round three comes to a close. Take a left hook to the body, okay? Start it and start, start going with the left hook to the body first, and anything you want out there, but go with the left hook to the body, okay? Go with the left hook to the body. It's very important. You start in here, slip over and dig the hook right in here, okay? And then come back on top of the right. I'll come back with a hook. Deep breath. Deep but breath. go with the left hook to the body. Lennox, exactly. Come on, let's go. Come on, son. Hey, hey. Get held. Uh, we had him. We had him just then. We got to put both punches together. You hear me? Yeah. Come Come Let's see if we can find out if that was a knockdown or a push down or it really wasn't a knockdown. It was just the, the the pressure of the body that pushed him down, it seemed, but it could have been. I mean, I don't know what that is, George. What is it? Oh, it's right on top of the head. And those kind, when you're not accustomed to being hit there, hit there because you're taller, they have some effect on you. In round three, CompuBox numbers give Lewis credit for landing 21 punches, many of them body shots. Akinwande landed only eight, threw only 26. And there he is, clinching Lewis's head under his left arm. Could it be, George, that Akinwande's arms are so long that he just cannot resist his urge to hold? He can't do anything else. He evidently, he's not a short puncher, so when he's close, all he can do to protect himself is to hold. Now Akinwande begins to land that one-two more effectively. And the crowd begins to express its displeasure. Lewis tries a wild roundhouse right. Akinwande wraps him up. It ain't going to be pretty. Ain't going to be pretty. And we're going to have a referee who's very tired. And Lewis, it looks as though he's almost worn out already. No doubt about it. Wobbling around. His corner has told him to throw these power that's punches, step and step that's back. what you don't want to do when you're fighting a guy grabbing like that. Take a step back. Just stay ahead on points, get your win, win every round. Lewis still doing an effective job of ducking and slipping. That time he doesn't get a punch off before Akinwande leans all over it. Akinwande killing 8, 10, 12 seconds at a time, just leaning all over Lewis. He's doing a good job if the referee continues to let him do that. Lennox Lewis is going to faint. I can hear a lot of fans saying, well, if, if this is what's going to happen when we get a six foot five inch guy against a six foot seven inch guy, let's go back to the shorter heavyweights. They're more fun to watch. No, it's the rope. The ring is very small. 
There's no room to run. Should it have been bigger? I think so. Uh, but Lewis is making all the effort here. I mean, give him credit. He's trying to make a fight out of it. He's doing the best he can. You know, and, and it takes two to fight. And a professional fighter, if all he's interested in is hugging and squeezing and holding on, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. It's hard to imagine how much longer Lane can go without being forced to disqualify Akinwande. He's in an awful bad position. It's terrible. Step back means step back. Hey. Step back. Now come on. Lane is in a terrible position, and so by extension is the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The body punches by Lewis are the most effective right now. Well, he's winning every step round, George. I mean, step wouldn't step you assume that Lewis has won the first three rounds? No doubt about it, but he's also playing in the part of the old bull when the matador is sticking that thing over his neck, and he's being held like that. Eventually, things have to happen bad to you. You know, Lewis is not a great infighter, but Akawande hasn't got a clue about what infighting is about. Solid punch there. Round four comes to a close. The crowd hopes for something better. Lewis tries to quell his mounting frustration. So what you gotta do, you, you drain it in them slowly, okay? Yep. You drain it in slowly. Work the jab, but when you get off, you gotta get short punches on with him. See, you're trying to get set for big wide shots, and that's how he's grabbing you. You're trying to get big right hands. Try to get off with short breath. shots. Your punches are too wide. Deep breath. And that's how he's able to grab you. Get short shots off. That's why he can't get inside. You understand? Come up between. Yeah, you run back and try to, don't forget that. Everything is those short shots. Push you. Henry, come on now. You ain't looking like nowhere near the gym. Come on, Henry. Come on, lift your head up, man. Take a deep breath. Come on, you let this guy intimidate you. Let this guy intimidate you. Get physical with this guy. Get physical with him. You hear me? He's stronger than he is. Let's go, Henry. You make yourself strong. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Short punches. Speed and angles. Speed and angles. He's giving it up. Pressure with short punches. CompuBox numbers say that in the first four rounds, Henry Akinwande has thrown 95 punches. That's a total of 23 per round, or an average of 23 per round. We saw a heavyweight a couple of months ago, Ike Bayabuchi, who throws 95 punches in an average round. Lewis Corner gave him some good advice. Stay short. Harold Letterman, quickly, how do you have the first four rounds? Larry, I got about a million things to say about this fight. Three rounds to one, 39-36, Lennox Lewis. Let me tell you something, when you get him with a legal punch that causes you anything to touch the, uh, the canvas except the soles of your feet in the scoring area, that's a knockdown. That shot that, that, that uh, Henry landed in the third round was a knockdown. Therefore, he should have got the third round. As far as holding, it's illegal. If you got one, one hand free, you can punch with the free hand until the referee yells break. Soon should he be disqualified, Harold? Yeah, let me tell you, if Henry Akinwande keeps on holding, it's coming soon. I figure another two, three rounds, he's out of here. Mary Lanes is in a, an embarrassing situation. Yeah, he he just had a big controversy disqualification in the state. He just don't want to do that quick. Look, he looks like an Oreo cookie there, mixed in between those two big guys. Oh, Mills Lane is earning his money these days. Second time that Lane has called Don Turner up. You tell him next time he's gone, okay? You tell him. He's hey, Henry, he's getting ready to disqualify you. You need to fight. Don't let him disqualify. You need to about to drop him. dead, man. All you got to do is fight him. Let's go. Fight him back. Get out of there. Well, it couldn't be any clearer than that. He just don't have any other defense. That's all there is to it. He just does not have any other defense. You wonder what could be going through Akinwande's mind. I guess you're right, George. He's, He's trying to protect himself from heavy punches. And you know, he doesn't know any other way. He's used to being able to fight with room between him and his opponents. He's been able to dictate that, and Lewis is not letting him dictate the geometry of the fight. 
Well, so he is utterly confused. 366 days ago, July 11, 1996, Galata disqualified while pounding Riddick Bowe in Madison Square Garden. Four months later, Atlantic City yeah. Convention it's Center. Galata. It's the end of the fight. We've had another disqualification. Yep. Jeff. I was just about to get there. <laughs> there you go. That's the fourth major disqualification in the heavyweight division in 366 days. It was inevitable. There was nothing else Lane could do. And I want to say, yep. give a, a gold crown to Mills Lane. He was in an almost impossible situation after two weeks ago to have to do this and he had the guts to do what was right well nobody's ever going to question Mil mills lane's guts it's just a shame george it's a crying shame yeah it doesn't look good but hey sometimes you got to stand up and do what's right and i'll say this in a way you can say aka when they found a way to quit there are a lot of ways to quit in the ring Sometimes you can bite a guy's ear to quit. Sometimes you can have an emotional breakdown in the ring to quit. And we saw this guy clutching to quit and get out of there. That's the third Don King fight in a championship fight who has quit this in recently. Yes. This is the Dan Duas, this is the main event fight though. Akawande works for Don King, George. Yeah, but Don King is not getting, uh, not making these guys quit. He's giving them money, but he's not the one responsible. <laughs> Let's go to Michael down, Buffer and hear the particulars. Right on top of you use the jab to drive him in the bad position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mills Lane. After repeated warnings, point deductions, warned the challenger Henry Ekinwandi that he had to fight and stop holding. He had to disqualify the challenger, the winner and still WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. 